On the Paying for College Facebook page, parent after parent posts questions and comments about the new free application for federal student aid or FAFSA, from asking why they can't see corrections that need to be made to hoping the problems are contained to just this year. On X, formerly known as Twitter, the National Scholarship Providers Association says fewer FAFSA forms were filed, down more than 30 percent a month ago. When the form was first rolled out on December 31st, it didn't work for most people. It wasn't probably until the middle of January that you could actually get in um, at specific times. Other problems included the algorithm not including inflation information and not allowing parents to sign forms and more. Letitia Nixon Jones is a professor at Jacksonville University. Her daughter is a senior who has been accepted to dozens of colleges, but mom says they can't make any decisions yet. This is the decision time, right? We should be at admitted students days and we should be narrowing down the decision. But as of yesterday, we've only received one financial aid offer. That's because at many schools, the financial aid a student gets depends on what's in the FAFSA. And now she's considering taking a gap year because she just feels like she's missed out on so many opportunities to apply for honors programs, outside scholarships. Jessica Chermack is a college counselor who's been guiding the class of 2024 through an unknown, not just the problems with the form itself. It's a system that's currently processing some 15 million forms from current students in college and from applicants. But the new formula behind it that determines how much aid a student will get. At the University of Texas at Austin, the school says on its website that it is beginning to process FAFSA information now and that admitted students should see a financial aid offer by the end of May. But that might be too late for some. Nixon Jones urges parents to reach out to lawmakers for help getting the form fixed. Um, we need to start contacting our legislatures. We need to start making our voices known. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.